Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Shadow of War. Alright, when we left off, uh, this board did not look like this. <laughs> at all. Ah, well, <laughs> this is a thing I've learned about the game thus far. That makes me think I can't just do treasure hunting and whatnot off camera unless it's a direct mission which I can go to, like the, uh, ones with kill a brimbor and all of that i can do those because those ones are quick get over there you're done be done with it sort of things because if i'm doing anything else especially treasure hunting like i have been and i'll show you the fruits of that in a moment but this game will not leave you alone <laughs> the captains will not let you be this game will throw captains at you if you're not doing anything else but fighting captains. And even then it'll throw more of them at you if you're doing that. <laughs> so, let's start from the top. Mog Wormlicker. A uh, poisonous feral slayer. Uh, he's the maggot guy in this particular game. And, uh... I've killed him before. Um, that was an accident, really. Um... I was trying to flee him because he was getting all up in my grill. Uh, he has a poison weapon, which poison, by the way, does a lot more damage <laughs> than it used to. Especially with this guy's epic trait. So, it just makes it impossible, Im fucking possible, to get away from. And because of that, at some point I said, fuck it, and blew up a crate. A crate of grog that was near him. And he exploded from that. Didn't die right away. So I did a quick throw. You know, the quick throw of daggers that, you know, does a little damage that way. And that killed him. I didn't expect it. Um, <laughs> I was mainly hoping to try and get him off my ass so I could escape. But that's how it went. Then he comes back, basically blind right now. He's lost his other eye, the other eye taken by the maggots, and how he's managing to follow me is some magic fucking shit that I don't understand, but um, <laughs> he continues to haunt me and try to kill me, as, you know, an epic warrior is wont to do. So, there's that, and with that in mind, there's a pal of his that's currently going after me as well, who I also killed on accident. Uh, it was actually in the same uh, same combat arena, actually, with him. Um, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to go in there. There we go. He, you know, Zathra the Worm, you remember him? He was of the Worm at the time. Uh, he got close in. He also had poison. And so he was also beating my ass. Um, he was closer to the grog barrels that exploded. He burned and died. So I was like, ah, shit. I'm going to have to explain this away. <laughs> Which is the next thing that comes up. He comes back. Now he's a legendary instead of the epic he started as. And he's changed his name. To Zathra Flame of War. And now his main element is fire. On top of the fact that he is now fireproof on top of poison proof. And his epic traits, which legendaries get two of that, he is a poison warder, so anyone around him takes less damage from my poison, or allies' poison from me. And he has a gang of elite hunters, which he had before. So, basically, fuck me, is what this guy's deal is. Um, <laughs> his gang of elite hunters, I don't know if uh, their weapons have changed to fire, but when he had the gang of elite hunters before, they were poison. So, <laughs> maybe it's changed with his as well. Who knows? But, that was a thing that happened. Now, this guy just recently died. I, uh, 
I underestimated how heavily damaged by poison how much it would actually mean. Uh, I poisoned him a bit with my throwing dagger, which right now the throwing dagger I have inflicts poison. And just one swipe, just one swipe was enough to kill him. That's all it took. He started retreating once he hit half health. And then before he even gets out of line of sight, he dies. So, that one was my bad. Me trying to get him off my ass because that cursed weapon he has is quite a bitch. <laughs> Makes me unable to get away. So, I have to, at that point, either kill him or maim him enough that he'll start going away. That's what I was hoping for. I was, I was hoping for the maiming to make them get away. Didn't happen that way. <laughs> so, again, fuck me. So, he's dead. Sorry. <laughs> you missed out on that, but that's something. Also, another something. Un Ugol the Crazy. He likes to sit around the little Colosseum area that I used a lot to treasure hunt because, for some reason, they were popping up a lot in there. I never ran into him, per se. Not often. <laughs> I ran into him once. That one time... I, <laughs> as you can see, he died and then came back because he's missing an eye. He ran into me, then ran into a couple captains, went enraged, and killed a couple of the cap, <laughs> a couple of the captains, and uh, then at some point he got damaged by a poisoned grog barrel that I'd left behind for other Uruks, not captains. And then he died. <laughs> he drank from the grog barrel and died. And then he came back. Still in the same fucking place that he was. And he still trolls around that spot, getting angry at anything, because one of his things is angry at everything. <laughs> and just killing whatever's nearby. So that's the thing that he still does. This guy popped up while I was hunting for treasure as well. Archaeos Painseeker, a new log that I did not expect to show up at least until I got later in the game. So, there was that. Apparently, he has a thing for wanting pain. Quite a bit of it, in fact. Um, <laughs> a lot of his dialogue included, Oh, hurt me, hurt me. So I was like, uh, I'm gonna go away now. <laughs> Uh, he's enraged by Frost, which I don't have yet, technically. <laughs> That's a different thing. That's one of my equipment's abilities that does that, but I don't have it to just freely throw around. Anyway, he's also a Beastmaster, so he has a Karagor pack. He's mortally flammable and terrified of spiders. And sickly. So, now that I know how much damage poison does, I will maybe use that <laughs> we'll find out anyway there's Naruk the Deathless who filtered in randomly uh, he's flammable and beast fodder which is fine uh, Gubu Ranger Killer did give me the armor that I ran for most of my treasure hunting but um, he was terrified of drakes soft target and vulnerable to execution I actually made him enraged by mortal wounds to then upgrade the bow I got from the uh, ghoul lover. Uh, you guys remember that. Yeah, he got enraged and I used that to complete the task for the upgrading of the bow. So there was that. Uh, Ashgarn, uh, the slaughterer, is the guy who killed me. I've died a lot of times, I should mention. I died to Mog. And then I died to uh, Ashgarn. And I think I died to someone else, but I don't remember. I, th I think I died to Gubu at some point. I might have. Also, there's Tars of the Tower. I apparently got uh, the Tower character at some point. And I haven't faced him yet. I've been trying to avoid him. <laughs> He's mortally flammable, so there's that. But... Again, I'm not going to run into him anytime soon, or at least not on purpose. So, there's that. Posh the Tark Killer. This was one of those new things. 
the Tark killer guy. He killed me. I died a couple more times to other people. A couple of those died. And, uh... Yeah. Then he just was no longer in a vendetta mission for me to kill. So, that... That happened. <laughs> I will eventually go after him. Eventually. Um, another guy, Ronk Bootlick, keeps ambushing me. And then being terrified when I run away to retreat and then come back at him with terrified of stealth because he's vulnerable to that and then he gets terrified from it and then runs away so there's that <laughs> that was easy to get rid of him Scoon the Poisoner when I was poisoning the grog barrels which I just love to do at this point now that I have the ability pretty much right away when I was poisoning one of them Scoon the Poisoner ambushed me just to criticize the technique that I poisoned the grog barrel with. It was something along the lines of, You're using four times the recommended dosage! Aren't you aware of oversaturation? <laughs> that was just how that started. But, uh, yeah. Some of the other ones are still alive. Snafu the Collector. Uh, Ronk Bootlick is still one of them as well. Nakra the Cutthroat. Some of them have filtered out just from people being introduced in. Two Horn the Master was a new one. Haven't ran into him yet. But he's extremely soft-headed, which means he's terrified if I shoot him in the head. So I might do that <laughs> if he runs into me at some point. But I first want to take care of Mog Worm Licker once and for all. But first, I need to show the progress. Characters. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I got a skill point from killing Kuga. It was relatively recently. Uh, it was like within the first five minutes of my recording where I said, okay, that's it. I need to explain away everything because God damn it. <laughs> I keep running into captains. I cannot do stuff off camera anymore. I need to explain why I can't. So from here on out, if it's not a middle, a little mission with Celebrimbor or whatnot, Doing it again to get better rewards. Not going to be playing. I'm going to be running this pretty much purely on camera only. <laughs> so, that said. Um, because this game will not let you do anything else. So, uh, you kind of need to run with what it gives you. Which is fucking giving you every captain just to fuck you over. <laughs> Alright, Unyielding Ferocity. I kind of want that. Mainly because I've been using Brutalize non-stop and it boosts up my might real quickly when using Brutalize. So, I kind of want that just for that reason. I picked up Detonate at some point from a couple of other kills. Uh, that's a pretty useful skill. I would love to at some point get the... not that one. Oh, I do still have the Bursting Arrow. Yeah. I don't have to Shadow Strike into it to explode the fire. Huh. Which would actually be nice and a good use for some of my shot, but not a lot of it because I only have a couple shots. <laughs> Alright. That said, Brace of Daggers is another thing I picked up, which was the quick throw, and that was very useful, especially with my dagger that I now have. And Elven Light's another thing that I picked up that just gives me some breathing room, which is nice to have, just in case, you know, they're encroaching a little too much on me. But I don't use it often enough, honestly. Brutalize is great. <laughs> it's a great way to start a fight, especially if you're coming in from stealth. It's just beautiful. Elven Agility, of course, the one that the game gives you. And then Silent Runner makes it so you can just run past them. And if you get out of their sight lines, they're not going to see you. So, that's always nice. <laughs> that's always nice. They're not going to pay attention unless you're in their vision cone. Which is perfect. And, yeah, I think that's about it. Right, unless there's something with drain I need to do. Oh, Quiver of Souls. 
Nah, not going to do that. I'm going to wait until this one. Yeah. I think I'm... Oh, wait, no. That's domination. That's kind of necessary. So, yeah, I'll keep that. <laughs> I'll get that at some point. Anyway, I need to complete more story missions before I can get that, though. Um, where should I put the skill point? Honestly, honestly, I kind of want to put it into Brutalize. Because what I want to do with counter is only available at level 10, which was gain might from each counter. Which would make it very easy to build up my might bar. Also, speaking of easy way to build up my might bar, uh, getting damaged in combat would no longer drain some from my might bar. It would now add to it. Which is a, a little more forgiving than doing the old uh, version, which was in Shadow of Mordor, where your might builds up really quickly, and it gets drained away after you exit combat, m miss an attack, or take damage. This one's a little more forgiving this way. So I think I'll go with Grim Resolve for now. There we are. Especially because... I kind of like having the bar of might just sitting there for when I need to use it instead of just waiting until I'm in the combat and just busting ass, <laughs> busting heads, kicking ass. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rather have it just so I can jump in with it if I need to. All right, inventory now. Now, uh, some of this I've earned off of bodies. Other bits I learn I earned through the loot boxes, and let me explain that real quick. The loot boxes I only use the ones I earned through the uh, Mirian stuff. I have not bought anything gold wise, as you can tell. I'm not going to touch that personally. That is very predatory in my mind. Um, that entire practice of loot boxes. That said. It's technically also gambling, which can be fun in moderate doses, much like anything else. But if you're putting that in front of kids who are just going to have the worst impulse control, <laughs> like, I gotta have it, I gotta, I need it, I gotta have it, give me it, they will pour money into eventually getting an item. And... To be frank, the slim chance that they could get it will fuck them over nine times out of ten. So, personally, I think that this sort of practice should be more regulated. Or at least gives you the percentage chance of, you know, what you're going to get out of that. Or at least tells you that, having that, that would be better than the way it's currently run. The way it looks right now is bad. I understand that. But if you're using in-game currency for some of the same items, that's fine, as far as I'm concerned. You ha if you're not going to do any of that sort of regulation, at least have a way to get the same sort of items in-game. That's fine. You have to have a way to get to those items in the game but having those sort of loot boxes as more of a well you could you know grind away the time or you could do the quick and easy way which is for a single player game not as scummy as like an MMO game where it's like pay to win sort of things but that's that's a whole different kettle of fish I'll explain that in a different video but anyway this one, this one, and this one. I got, no, wait. No, I got this one too out of a loot box. Uh, this one's still the Nauru Ghoul Keeper one that I've been running the entire time. This one gives you increased stealth damage to poison enemies, and a quick throw applies poison uh, within, like, a minute or so so it's a nice a nice addition this one gives me 11% chance to gain full might when hit by an enemy 
which is nice. <laughs> and gives me 17% chance that a critical hit applies frost, which is always nice to have, especially if you just want to stop one enemy from attacking you. So, it allows you to then divert your attention to other enemies who are going after you. I like that. So, there's that. Um, the cloak lets you recover all focus after killing a captain and gives you 19% less damage from ranged attacks, which is a good thing to have because they will constantly, constantly shoot or throw spears at you. Always. If they can get enough distance between you and them, they will be doing it. So, that's an annoying thing. That helps. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I got Vein Splitter. I think I got Vein Splitter from someone and then upgraded it to that. I just don't remember who it is because usually it'll show in the description if you got it from an orc. Which I know I got this from an orc, now that I think about it, because it started as a broken sword like the Gondor sword and whatnot, but it didn't do that, which is weird. Anyway. Uh, this one, this pretty self-explanatory. The upgrade for this one poisons enemies. Uh, if it's a headshot, about 30% chance. 38% chance of increased... No, rather. A 38% increased range damage to enraged enemies. Sorry. I misread that for a second. And for the sword, which I got, uh, this one, I actually have th uh, three more other than Urphiel. This one's one of them. And I still have the Sword of Dominion. The other one I got from another Uruk called Horde Breaker, which allowed me to get two, mind, uh, two might gain when hit streak is above 10, and 11% increased damage when hit streak is over 10. So it just bashes through orcs if there's a group of them around you. But uh, I honestly prefer having the health recovery on a critical hit and full health and might after a lance, a uh, lance, a last chance success. That's always nice. But yeah, and the gems. I've upgraded quite a bit when it comes to the gems. Uh, this one, I'm hoping to eventually get the perfect life gem to put on the sword, and then I'm set. I'll be as set as can be. The wealth gem. I leveled up just to put on the rune because the rune one automatically lets the captains gain five levels when recruited, which is fucking nice. <laughs> but I haven't got the rune item yet, so I can't necessarily use that yet. So that's a thing. Um, potency for the <laughs> weapons skills is of course where I'm putting that in, but I'm putting it into armor, which right now I have a perfect gem into my main armor here, which allows me to increase damage across the board, which is what I was hoping for. Uh, this one would also let me get 15 increased across the board, so that would up it to 30% damage across the board should I get the next one, but that will be a while. <laughs> that will be a god's damn long while, because... <laughs> It took me long enough to get to this point with my gems. To get the perfect warrior gem, that took me f fucking days. This took me fucking days. Because the game will realize, once you're going for a specific gem, it will start giving you less of the gems that are needed to get to that point. Which I've currently suffered with Vitality, because I've only gotten up to this point. <laughs> I need one more to be able to get the perfect life gem. And it will take forever at this rate. So, that's a thing that I've done. And I've explained pretty much everything. I will say, if I'm going into the market, this and this are the only things I'm going to be buying. The stuff with the Mirian. That's it. That said, why does it say it's three? Oh, I see. I see what that is. All right. I was a little confused by the times three. 
<laughs> anyway. Yeah. I will only be getting this, and only be getting this, if I'm buying anything at all off the market. That's it. That's it. Want to make that perfectly clear. And if I do do that, it'll be off camera. <laughs> but, no plans of that at this time. So, now I've explained everything. Now you know. That's an entire fucking episode worth of explaining. It's a little boring, I apologize. But it needed to be said. Now, I'm gonna go after Mog, kill him, to actually include some action into this video, huh? How's that sound? I think it sounds fan fucking tastic compared to where I was starting early. And whoop! I'm just gonna kill you. Goodbye. Oh jeez. You fuck. Oop, ow, okay. Fuck you. Get you out of my way. Oh! Well, that works, I guess. Okay, fuck you. Now nah, I'm just gonna run. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, that did not turn out the way I intended. But hey, I tried. Keep running. Keep going down this way. God, this is nice. Having this at my beck and call just to consume focus is great. I love it. And that double jump. Oh, that double jump is the greatest. Alright. Come on. I just want to go after this guy. There we go. And that's a quick one. Oh, jeez. Jesus, come on. I just want to kill you. Just fuck you. And goodbye. Perfect. Alright. Now that I've done that. Onward we go. Continuing on. To... Oh, it's right up on the roof. How about that? Mog Wormlicker. Get revenge. Whatever this orc is plotting, he did not plan on us. Well, here's hoping, anyway. <laughs> he didn't plan on us. Alright. Oh, yeah? You're aware of me, eh? Well, how about now? <laughs> Away from you. Okay. And... There he is, I assume. I don't see any other yellow targets. The yellow means marked, so... There we go. Up we go. Perfect. Ish. There he is. Mog. Mog. Oh. His claws outstretched for no real reason. Alright. He's vulnerable to stealth, but he's also enraged by it. So. We'll have to take this very carefully. But at the same time, he's got Zathra Flame of War right next to him. And he is mortally vulnerable to stealth. And he also has the most pain in my ass things that could possibly be used against me. So, I might have to kill Zathra before I finish off Mog. It might honestly need to be done that way. It burns, it burns, it burns, they scream. That is a kiss of fire, my friends. That is a kiss that will last forever. You are fucking weird, I tell you what. Brutal eyes will not really kill him, but it'll do a lot of damage. Burn, burn, burn this well to the ground. Burn, burn, burn the ring of fire. Okay. Get you. And finish you off. Zathra, flame of war. Stealth killed. All right. Go after you. Finish that. There we go. And that definitely helps. Well, hi there, you oh, teleported. No, what it is to return from death. Yeah, you do. Or laid in its cold grasp on the battlefield until a yeah, I can see that. wriggling warmth took over me. Ugh. A thousand thousand pulsing maggots crawled over and into me, Ew. scouring the dead flesh 
for my ragged wounds. Yeah, I could see that. Now There's a lot of them. With me, always. Ugh. A churning, writhing horde of torment. Yeah, it sounds like it. Sheesh. <laughs> and he's vulnerable to stealth, damaged by ranged attacks, executions, and explosions. We've done a little bit of damage on him, so that should help a little bit. Okay. Okay, the cold definitely helped. Oh, thank God. That was nice. Okay. Sakura Flame of War. Just want to kill him. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Get out of the way of him, because that... That is going to be a pain in the ass. I do not deal with that. There we go. Jesus, why am I on fly? Why am I on fire? Oh, because his guys do have flame on their spears. So that explains a lot. Okay. Jesus. Come on. Good God. Okay, come on. Okay, yeah. Whoop. Okay, that was too close. And an execution should get close to finishing them off. Okay. Alright. Arrow? Almost. That did it. That did it. End it, Ranger. Don't leave me to rot. Not again. Oh, so you don't like it anymore, huh? And... Ooh. And revenge. And the death of him. Oh yeah, I got a legendary item from the other guy. From Zathra. Whoa, what? Unlike rare and epic gear, a piece of legendary gear can be upgraded multiple times until it reaches maximum level. Holy shit! That's awesome! Alright. Legendary gear also comes in sets. Equipping multiple pieces of the same legendary gear set unlocks even greater bonuses. You can view legendary gear sets, their bonuses, and your progress towards completing challenges in legendary sets section in your inventory menu. What is... What is that? Oh! That shows the sets. Okay, cool. Reduce... Reduces call mount of cooldown by 6%. 50% increased damage dealt by beast allies. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. And would be very useful against the feral tribe. But right now, I don't have any use for that. At least not yet. So, maybe eventually... Oh, Rohirrim sword from Mog Wormlicker. And it's already at 10. Kill an enemy while might is full. Gain 2 might on any melee attack. That's useful. And hit increased damage when hit streaks over 10. Well, that makes it worth it. Now I kind of want to see what I can get out of that. Cool beans. Alright, now that's taken care of. Whoop, nice try. <laughs> nice try, buddy. You fucked up. There we are. Alright. Well, that's a vendetta mission completed and completed very well. Alright. Well, we'll see if Mog Worm Licker comes back in the next episode. Well, if any of them come back in the next episode. So, yeah. And next I'll go after Ashgarn, and then, then we go after the Tark Slayer. But that'll be next episode. Right now, I'm tired. I recorded three episodes, which is more than I usually do in a day. My throat is killing me. I should probably nap. <laughs> and I might actually do that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and killing Mog Worm Licker. And that's a gross name. And Sathra Flame of War. And explaining why I did things that I did and I'm not going to be doing them anymore. 
except for the market boxes, but those are going to be the not paid for with real cash versions for you.